Hey there, I want to show you how you can easily make a Tyler and my piano Afrobeat mashup. Now, Tyler likes to use R&B chords a lot in her production. So right here we have these chords from Purity. The preset I'm using is Pretty Suitcase. And then this is how it sounds like. Then also have a layer right here from Analog Lab. The preset is Berlin School, and this is how it sounds like. And this beat is a remake of Tyler's Truth or Dare, okay? So we have that, and then we have, this is how the chord layer and the chord sounds. So sometimes layering your chords does help add, you know, more emotion and texture to your production. So you can try to do that in your own production as well. So right here, let's come straight to the drums. And these drums were played from the SC Toots and my piano kit. I'll link it in this video in the description. All right. So this is how we start with the percussions. It was, you know, tweaked a little bit with some EQ and reverb just to, you know, get that vibe going. So and that's a beautiful thing with, you know, having, knowing how to play drum elements on your own without using loops. You have more control over how you want it to sound. And then we also have a low tom right here. Again. Also modified with EQ and then a low tom just to give it a layer. So it's layered up. Then we have the kick. Just, you know, regular four step kick, nothing special there. And then we have this rim shot. And then right here we have a clave. All right. And then we have a shaker. This is a classic Ama Piano shaker. Okay. So let's hear how the drum sounds. Then let's turn on this other shaker layer. This is another layer. Let's see how it sounds like. And then we're gonna play with the chords. So you can hear it's it's a really simple production. The drums are simple, the chords are simple, and this is a hint for you not to complicate your production process. Always try to keep it as simple as possible, okay? Because remember, it's an artist that's going to be on the beat, so you're not trying to impress another producer with your beats. So next, right here, we have even more chord layers. I'm going to come down to the other melody, it's a bit, but I want to show you the importance of layering, okay? So right here, we have this higher pitch um, sound. This is how it sounds like. Played with Purity, the preset is Tyne. If you told my favorite presets in Purity. So, and this is how it sounds when it's, when it's layered up. Let me turn it on. When it's turned off. See, just that little brightness it gave, you know, can make your parts of your song sound more interesting, especially if you're moving from like a verse to a hook, because this is the hook of the song. So having those um layers can help differentiate different parts of your song. So that's one of the beautiful things with layering. If you're not trying to maybe have your part sound maybe um more heavier, like with sound, like more layered sound, layering can also make your part sound more interesting, like it just gives a different texture, okay. So if I come right here, we also have another sound. But this sound is actually affected. Let me solo it right here. So you can hear that. The preset is pretty suitcase, but with a effect, fruity chorus. 
some EQ, reverb, and a flange. If I turn off the effects, how it sounds like. I turn it on. So you can see that pretty suitcase. So it sounds good with the effects, okay? So sometimes you may not get the sound you're looking for, but just using effects to like play around with it can give you a more interesting feel, all right? Then right here in the drums, we have this snare pattern that comes in. I've seen on my piano and like that snare roll. So if I open the piano roll, you can see I adjusted the um, velocity. So adjusting the velocity of your snare roll can make it sound even more interesting, okay? Instead of having it just, you know, straight and flat. And this is how it sounds. And then we also have more drum elements coming in. You can see all drum elements do not start in one point and kept going. Like you can see there's variation. So this drum element right here, if I solo it, just a stick, just a stick sound. So, and then let's come back to the melodies, okay? So right here we have this reverse piano. It's just the chord progression but reversed, and this is how it sounds. Let me solo it so you really hear what's going on there. The reverse sound with just the chord. So you can hear that. Again, this is just, you know, for layering purposes. And then we have some, like, melodies scattered across to just, again, add some excitement, like this sound right here. Then, and this is how it sounds in this part right here. It's like, it's really low key, like it's in the background. And then I also have this nylon guitar right here from um, Flex plugin. It's a stock plugin FL Studio, and the preset is nylon guitar, just a classic regular nylon guitar. Although there's some effects running through, it's just EQ and reverb. Okay, so you can see using effects a lot on your sounds can like give it a different feel entirely. <laughs> Right here we have pitch bends to give you that realistic guitar sound. To do that, it's really easy. Just click on this slide right here and it's going to slide your sound. Let me change this timing. So if I to place it here, for example. And I press play. So you can hear that. So you can use slides on your guitars, but this only works with stock plugins. So it doesn't work with um, third-party plugins for now in FL Studio. But you can manually like do a pitch bend with your wheel. If you have a MIDI keyboard that has a pitch wheel or a pitch bend modulation wheel, you can just do that. So that's one trick you can use to spice up your guitar sounds. And then we have this synth right here. Just your classic regular synth but played with purity. The name of the preset is Oburi. And then, then we just have some bass, really simple bass. The name of this plugin is Harmless. It's a stock plugin in FL Studio, and we have the presets, um, just the sub is right here, just the sub, and then with some effects, you know, just an EQ to control the low end to really get a vibe I want. So this is how it sounds. We 
with the drums. Let me play the bass and drums. And then that's just pretty much it for this beat. So you can see it's a really simple arrangement, a really simple melody and chord structure, not much going on. So whenever you're making your beats, always remember simplicity is key. So let's hear the beat from top to the end. And remember this project file is available for you to download and also go through it and learn even more. You can see most of the plugins used here are very accessible plugins that I'm sure most of you already have. So if you find this helpful, like and follow for more.